Hi guys, I would like to show you um, the downside of Polaroids and insects. Um, now we know that um, instant photography is a very nice hobby or could be a nice um, art expression but for a usual consumer it is a very expensive hobby, let's say. The bad shots or crap shots are sometimes uncommon, but for some it is quite annoying. Um, so in this video I'll be showing you my personal crap shots, either, either it's my fault or the camera's fault. So let's begin with, um, with Instac Wides. Here are my uh, crap shots of Instac Wide. So let's begin with number one. This is a, I'm taking a picture of the sky right here. And yeah, came out really bad. So, one euro. Another sky shot. Um, this, I think it, it has a mistake, a, a problem with the, the, the film because I have like, I bought a box of 20s and in every photo there's these dark dots on, on the film. And I'm not sure if my lens are dirty or these are mistakes, or these are um, x-rays that damage the unexposed film. Um, this is also a sky, but you know, it is underexposed because the camera read it that way. So another euro. The sea, again, with the damn spots. Um, underexposed, it is actually bright outside in in IRL but the camera decided to underexpose it again the shot of my garden my back garden um, underexposed the park underexposed um, a portrait the flash just decided not to fire another group photo and the flash decided not to fire underexposed underexposed and flash just burned the reflex just burned the the film here so these are um, i think 12 crap shots right here and so in a box of 20, half of, half of it has to be thrown away. So waste, I wasted 12 euro, shoot a, yeah, 12 euros in these crap shots. The next one is Instag Mini. Now I did an experiment because um, I, I received a gift a, as a, um, a box of Instag Mini, 10 shots. But yeah, I, I do not have any Instac Mini, so I modified the, the Instac Mini um, cartridge to fit in my Instac Wide. And out of 10 shots, actually 20 shots, these two came out. <laughs> and yeah, the roller didn't roll anything properly, so thrown away. Um, I recently got a Lomo Instant Square and these are my crap shots. I actually have six crap shots, at least six. There's there's more inside my album. So this is the first shot with um, macro lens and like I always said before, the bellows get in the way. One euro. Um, Overexposed crap shot, but I, I like this 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 photo right here. I really like it. I don't know why it's in here. So second crap shot 
overexposed outside. Um, the traffic light is actually in focus, the rest is just blown out by the sunlight. Macro lens, crap shot again, just can, I don't know what to say, again, 0 0.5 meter, out of focus, overexposed. Again, with auto, overexposed. So, Polaroids. A box of Polaroids, vintage, cost 19 euros. And my first crap shot, black and white. Second crap shot, outside. I mean, these are pictures that aren't bad, but I just don't like them. So, for each shot, you have to be very conscious about it. Because it's, it's what, 250 for each Polaroid. I don't know. Another crap shot. Now it's out of polar. These are four Polaroids, so already half pack of Polaroid thrown away. Now I'm going to show you some of the crap shot um, by Spectra film. I got a lot of crap shot with Spectra film and a lot of crap shot with Fuji films too. Again, at a Christmas dinner, a group photograph, a group shot, the flash didn't fire, thrown away again. Also here, I got a lot of um, shots where the photos just fail. Um, give me a minute. Okay. Spectra film by Polaroid. This could be the camera's fault, the pro image. One third of the, um, the Polaroid underexposed or burnt, I'm not sure. The roller did not roll properly. Again here. And the black and white is just the worst effect. Black and white. More black and white. This, these are the dark side of Polaroids. Black and white. Black and white spectra. Expensive. Really expensive hobby. Crap shots. This is my Polaroid SLR. And I don't know why it just blown out super overexposed this is the first shot and this is the second shot I don't know what's going on the results are just unpredictable still overexposed magenta tint because it is summer it was summer outside but then yeah first first second this is the end of the video is it's just a rant video actually or it could be um, a reminder video that if you'd like to start a Polaroid or insect uh, collection or hobby you have to also be aware of these bad shots and bad results or unpredictable uh, results yeah please enjoy and thanks for watching